How you doing, folks? Oh, so cold, isn't it, this time of year? The temperature's really dropped. Um, you know, it's, uh, where's the summer gone? <laughs> Did we even have one? I can't remember, to be fair. But uh, yeah, so as, as it's getting colder now, uh, I think I've mentioned in, uh, in a previous video that um, I'm still gonna go, we're still gonna go out camping, even though you know, the winter time will come. Um, but the thought of that sends a shiver down your spine. Well, that was until we've just had this latest upgrade, guys. Let's go in the van and have a look. Oh, 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 oh I can feel the heat in here. And that is because of this. Our new Chinese diesel heater. As you can see there, there's the program panel. Just above him, his normal standard switch gear. But yeah, we've made a box for it sitting there and it is blowing out nice and beautiful heat really really good so, so guys we have took the plunge and we have now got the diesel heater something i wanted to do for ages with this fan um yeah it's uh so we have been on a couple of camps as you know on the previous vids we've uh, we've been out and yeah one was in the middle of the summer it was roasting up no problem but the last one we went to um, whilst this van's insulated and nice and warm, um, at the best, you know, in, in, under normal conditions, um, the temperature did drop to about seven degrees, I think, overnight, about four in the morning, three, four in the morning on the last camp. And yeah, it was a little bit nippy. We had a, we've got a, a good Van Gogh uh, double sleeping bag and a duvet over the top and whatnot, so it's not too bad. But um, you, you can hear on the, on the, on the campsite, Oh, I can hear anyway. The pumps ticking for the diesel heaters, people turning them on at that time in the morning because it was cold. And part of me was thinking, I wish I had one of them. So yeah, so so we've got one. Now, um, the, when we've so so my idea, my original plan with it, um, I wanted to use the T piece for the fuel line. You tee straight into the Renault traffic fuel line, which runs down the passenger side on, of the under underside of the van. Um, and then you can, you're literally just pulling diesel for the diesel heater off the, the main uh, diesel tank in the van. Unfortunately though, this particular Chinese heater that I've got, well, they're all pretty much the same, but the pumps are quite small on them. And to pump, it needed to pump the fuel over a meter and a half from one side of the van to the other with no gravity. It was just a straight, straight run. So we found that the heater was throwing up a couple of error codes and it was around about ignition because the, the pump wasn't quite man enough to deliver the fuel for what the heater needs to run. So we've had to think outside the box a little bit and, and make a bit of a bigger box um, to put a, a fuel tank in. Um, so we, we have got an onboard separate fuel tank in here now. Um, it's com this box is, is real tight. Um, it's, it's, it, we've made it really well. It's got vents in it and stuff. Um, and you, you can't, there's no smell of diesel or anything in here. And the fact that we won't actually have to um, top this tank, this tank up in here for a long time. We've got five, five litres of diesel in here. And the amount of time you're gonna need the heater for, probably 10 minutes ago here and there, you, you're hardly gonna use any diesel, which is a good thing about these little heaters. Um, so, so yeah, so, so I'm buzzing now. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting in here now in my t-shirt and I'm, as you can see by my rosy cheeks, there's some proper heat in here. So uh, I'll just show you, show you the gear and show you the box now, all right. So the heater guys, uh, it's the switch panel here, look. Um, you can alter the set, the, the pump speed, that's on number three now. You probably really, once it gets up to temperature, you don't really need to be on anything higher than that. Um, but uh, it tells you the temperature. I don't think that's right because it's roasting in here right now. It tells you you've got good battery. Uh, so obviously this is wired up to the leisure battery. Um, yeah, and uh, obviously it tells you there's fuel there and um, and then the ignition's fine as well, which is the, which it turns red, the, glow, the glow, uh, glow plug turns red when you first turn it on. Once it kicks in, that goes out. That, sh that there shows you that the um, fan is actually wearing away there quite nicely. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there's, there's lots of other settings on the on the panel. I'm still getting used to myself yet, but there's the main switch gear there. Diesel heater sitting inside this box, as we said before. Vent there, nice and toasty air now. That is, that's really warm. Got a vent there um, to support the the intake from the back of the heater. So the heater is is lengthways with the with the hot air coming out this way, and it'll be sucking in um, the normal normal air through this way. So I've got a, a vent there and one under the bed here. Uh, behind this board that goes straight to the back of the heater. And then obviously the exhaust and everything else comes out the bottom of the van. 
Um, and then in here is the the diesel tank, um, which we've modified. It's got the uh, correct banjo fitting. Um, it's all sealed. Uh, that will hold five liters of diesel for us when it's on board. It's got a correct gap underneath it for the heater, and everything is all plumbed in tidy, uh, nice and tight there. So, uh, and then this, obviously, this um, this box that we've we've sort of topped here can now be somewhere a little bit more extra storage for a cup of tea or dinner plate or your book or whatever you want to do. But uh, but yeah, so uh, I'm over the moon with that, and we are going for our. Uh, winter camp um, uh, this weekend and one thing I do know for sure is I am going to be a very very warm boy <laughs> brilliant guys if you need to know anything else there's a link to this heater I've bought in the description and uh, if you need any more advice on it or, or what uh, what else it does um, drop me a comment and I'll come back to you take care Thanks for watching another video guys. Um, yeah, the diesel heater. If you haven't got one and you're thinking of getting one, by all means drop me a comment, drop me a line. Um, I can give you some advice on what we've done with ours, how it was fitted. Big, big, big thank you to my man Stu Arnold, SS Racing in Shrewsbury. He's like the professor, the, the man behind a lot of the work that gets done to the van. Obviously, um, he, he's a great friend and uh, really, really, really good with, with camper conversions. So if you want to do something similar and you, you're not far from the area I live in, then by all means, I'll leave Stu's details as well, a link to his Facebook and his business card at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And I'll see you on the next one when we're camping, which would have been a cold camp. I just don't think it's going to be any more, guys. Take care. All the best.